Ahoy there, Bat fans, and welcome to this unboxing of Batman The Dark Knight Returns, the game. The title is kind of, eh. This thing is big, and this thing is shiny. It's kind of a slipcase edition. All right, first skin removed. Now what we've got here is a slipcase with one, two recessed areas for the bat symbol, and two boxes contained therein, both of which appear to be sealed. Now it's been a while since we've put in our Kickstarter pledges, but I'm fairly certain we went all in. So I expect it is the deluxe version. Wow, not a lot of words or pictures on this. It's kind of got that our game speaks for itself kind of vibe. And such fancy printing, can you see that? Well, let's take a gander. Oh dear. Yes, we start with rule books. Not a surprise. And such big ones they are. That is incredibly huge rule book. I'm still getting the hang of the IDW Batman game we got not too long ago. And now Cryptozoic landed this on my porch. My fault. I just have bat fever. All right, well that has components list, so it goes over here. Book two, rules. Book three, rules. Book four, rules. Standalone missions and verses mode. And an envelope. Batman the Dark Knight returns the game. The envelope. It is empty. However, I'm betting this has a campaign thing where you're gonna be adding to it as you go. All right, now onto some tokens. And the artwork appears to come straight from the graphic novel, at least a lot of it, which is great, because it's a classic. We've got Batman and Gordon and Robin and Green Arrow, who looks very white colored in this. Little Superman right there. Presidents and mutants and all kinds of things. Oh my. Okay, the tokens list says adversary tokens which is 30 press, 30 mutants, and 30 cops. Well, was kind of Batman against the world for a lot of that story. So I'm gonna go with cops, mutants, and the TV sets have to be the press. Definitely some colorful design going on here. Bats and jokers and fire. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. <laughs> well, I do believe I found the game board. And according to the instructions, it is dry erase. Open up. So maybe cross off areas as you go. Yep. That's Gotham. Here's a nice embroidered pouch. Look at that bat. Not sure if you can really see the stitching, but cool. I mean, the pouch itself kind of has that uh, flimsier feel to it, but it's soft and I'll take it. Now we've got dice with onomatopoeia and bat wings. I do remember this being a thing. Very cool. And I would say this is a bag of regular dice and it is, but uh, there's a whole lot of variety in here. Looks like we got some D6s and some D8s. Different colors, different results. There's a lot of game in this game. Stands for characters. Dry erase marker with eraser. This is one of those I'm not going to explore the cards too much, so I'll show you the packs. Round sequence. I'm seeing things like when you flip this card, destroy Wayne Manor kind of stuff. So yeah, let's keep that a secret. Open at the end of book four. You got it. Protect historic buildings. Missions perhaps? You got to have those bat priorities. I see six decks of what could be called conventional cards here. This seems to be full of game effects. Oh, actually, according to the book, it says the cooldown card is one of a kind. So perhaps the others are action cards. The one that's on top here says versus mode round sequence card. Okay, I've lost sight of what these things are. I haven't truly played it, obviously. All right, I don't know what these cards are. I'll just kind of give you what they are showing to me. And it's gonna get repetitive because this one has Batman, this one has Batman, this one has Batman, and wouldn't you know it, this one has Batman. But I mean, isn't that what we're here for? This one has mutant stuff on it and it has player commands. Would somebody really want to play as the mutants? I mean, not everybody gets as hung up on theme as, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's box one. Base game, no doubt. So let's take a look at the other one. Box number two. If I had just wasted a moment to go back and check out the Kickstarter page, I wouldn't have to be surprised. But that's just apparently how we roll. All right, this one opens in similar fashion. It's the minis! Okay, it appears there are only minis in here, with the exception that underneath this part is a little confusing piece of plastic. Guess I'll figure that out later. But here's what we got. Some very cool looking ones. Batmans and Supermans and Robins and armored Batmans and cool things like that. Oops, let me just put that back in. Yeah. Helicopters, tanks, pony horses. 
things like that. Oh, detailed minis, you've been responsible for so much impulse buying. Back you go safely before something stupid and piratey happens to you. And here's a note, when reloading the slipcase, you kind of have to face these two away from each other if you want that to stick out properly. And there it is, everything we found inside the slipcase edition of The Dark Knight Returns, the game. And exciting stuff it is. Can't wait to give it a go and tell you all about it, so tune in again soon, Batfans. <laughs> yeah.